everybody welcome back to my kitchen I am so excited to do this recipe today I oftentimes want a Thanksgiving dinner in the middle of the summertime or any time other than Thanksgiving Day even on Thanksgiving Day I don't usually eat because I've cooked for so many hours I'm so exhausted most times it is either late 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 Thanksgiving night or the next day before I get to sit down and or just take an opportunity to sit down and enjoy my Thanksgiving dinner so I came across Tammy honey Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks and she has an original recipe where she's done a Thanksgiving dinner in a crock pot. I mean, everything is in the crock pot. When I saw it, I thought it was absolutely genius. Well, let me say mostly everything um, because we usually do collard greens for Thanksgiving, but in her crock pot, there's turkey, there's dressing, there's potatoes, and there's green beans. Okay, I'm going to link her video below so you can see exactly how she does it in the crock pot but what I wanted to do you guys already know I wanted to do things a little differently first I wanted to do um, I wanted to do mine in the oven okay I'm experimenting you guys so this is not I've not tried this I'm just gonna experiment so I wanted to do mine in the oven for a couple of reasons. One, just in case everybody doesn't have a crock pot. And two, just in case maybe you do have a crock pot but you don't want to wait four hours or you don't want to wait six or seven hours that it may take to cook it on high or low in the crock pot. So I'm going to do this today using a large deep casserole dish. I've already sprayed it. And again, I'm going to do things just a little bit differently. Um, I'm not... Um, I like potatoes, but my husband prefers rice. So, I usually fix rice all the time. So, we're going to try to add some rice to this dish, okay? So, I have some rice here. I have about three-fourths cups of rice. And I'm going to add a little bit of butter. Um, I'm going to add about two cups of water to this. And ironically enough, this little casserole dish will actually just sit right there. Okay? So that's how I'm going to include my rice with my turkey dinner in a casserole dish. Okay? So we're going to do rice. We're going to do one can of green beans. Um... We're going to use cream of chicken, and I also like cream of celery, so I'm, I'm going to add some cream of celery too, because you guys, if, you, if you've been here for a while, you know we love a lot of gravy and sauces, okay? So hopefully that won't be too much. Um, you're going to need some broth. Now, I'm going to use two cups. I don't think Miss Tammy used quite this much, and I made my broth using the Better Than Bouillon. And I'm using the roasted chicken flavor. Your water does need to be hot. That way you can really mix up this better than bouillon and get everything incorporated real good. Okay? So my water was really hot when I made my chicken broth. And then I did a three pound butter ball roasted turkey. Okay? So, and once I got my turkey, I let it unthaw in the refrigerator. It was frozen. Let it not unthaw. There again, I caught myself. Y'all, I'm so used to saying unthaw. I let it thaw in the refrigerator. And, um, and then I just cut it up. So, I got about, I think I got like four slices from that three pound roasted, that three pound turkey breast. Okay. So, this is what I'm going to be using. Um... Also, uh, onions and celery. I'm going to be using about, maybe about a cup of celery, maybe a little bit more of onion, maybe a little more than a cup of onion. And I dice these up using my little ninja. So you can dice your, your vegetables up however small or large you like them, okay? And then we're going to be using some 
cornbread stuff and I think Miss Tammy said her original recipe calls for maybe eight ounces I think that's what she said we're gonna do this on the bottom and then the top uh, I sat here. The top of it, we're going to use some stove top stuffing and I have one bag in here. So we're going to do the chicken stove top on the top, okay? And then I also want to do potatoes, but I'm just doing some of these baby baker potatoes. These are the little roasted potatoes. So I'm just going to add some of these. And that's going to be my crock pot dinner. Y'all already listen. We have some cranberry sauce. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. So prayerfully, this will turn out well. And I think it is an absolute great idea for those of you who, you know, you may not um, want to fix a big old dinner. You just want to do something for maybe you and a couple of people. Or Thanksgiving dinner, fixing a big Thanksgiving dinner is a lot of work. So, again, I pray that this, this turns out good. Um... We shall see, but in the meantime, I'm just going to get a little pat of butter and add it to my rice. Now, before I forget, with the, with the turkey, you don't have to do your seasonings if you don't want to. I know the idea when Miss Tammy did this was to be just quick and easy. So... You don't have to, you'll notice if you look at when you look at her video, she didn't season her um her turkey, and that's perfectly fine. But I went ahead and seasoned my turkey like I would normally season my turkey. Again, okay, but again, that you don't have to do that. So I'm adding a little pat of butter to my rice. And to my rice, I'm also gonna add, I'm adding two cups of water. This is again about three-fourths cups of rice. I'm adding two cups of water because I'd rather it be too much than, than not enough, okay? Um, let's see. I'm not going to add anything else to the rice other than this because my husband, he loves the gravy. So the gravy is going to be seasoned with the salt and everything. So I don't need to add anything else to the rice, okay? All right, so now I think I'm gonna try to get everything. It's time to get everything layered in the casserole dish. Again, I'm probably gonna layer some things maybe a little bit differently, but this is just the way I want to try to do it. Okay. Oh, I hope this turns out great. In the meantime, my oven is preheated to 375 degrees. I'm thinking I may need to cook this. Uh, of course, it depends on when that turkey gets done. So maybe at least about an hour and 15 minutes or so. Um, of course, I've thoroughly washed my hands. You guys, don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands. It's nasty, okay? Thanksgiving is coming. Do better. Okay, so I'm going to start with my cornbread stuffing. gonna take everything down to the end because I think I'm gonna put my vegetables down there okay and then we're gonna do our celery and our onion just on top of that Then we're going to sprinkle some poultry seasoning, and this does have some sage and some thyme and onion in it. Miss Tammy mentioned using McCormick because the main ingredient was sage, but I'm just using what I have. So we'll sprinkle a little bit of that. Okay, and then on top of that, we're going to add our turkey. Ah, looks like it's going to be so 
good. Okay, and I'm going to go on so I can really kind of see what I'm doing. I'm going to go on and put my green beans right here. I did drain them and I rinsed them off, okay? So that's my green beans. Then we're going to add a little bit of these potatoes. Like I said, I like the potatoes. And then we have our cream of chicken. Again, I'm going to add some cream of celery. Now, you guys, I have already thoroughly washed off these cans. You guys, make sure you wash your cans off because they are awfully nasty. Okay. And then on top of that, we're going to add our... Chicken stove top. And you guys, I'm trying to save space over here so I can add my um my little casserole dish on top, okay? going on up there. Make sure that's going to fit. Is that going to fit? Yeah, that's going to fit. Okay. And now we're just going to pour our broth over the top. this casserole dish is deep because otherwise I'd be in trouble. I'm kind of moving it from the sides because it's kind of letting that broth run down. Run down on the, on the thunder there a little bit so we won't bubble over in the oven. Okay, okay I think we're going to be alright y'all. Some of y'all cringe and say, Miss Donna, you got too much in there, but we're gonna be fine because it's deep enough. Okay. Now we're gonna put a few little pats of butter on top of here. Y'all know butter makes everything better, right? Okay. 
just going to cover this tightly with foil. I do like the fact that the rice is in a separate little casserole dish because if I need to take that out, um, I can. Because if I want to check it, Talking about 325 degrees. 375 degrees. And I'm going to set my timer for at least an hour and five minutes, and then I'll check it then. Thanksgiving is coming, you guys. Y'all, it's the moment of truth. minutes ain't do nothing y'all we have been cooking for a little over about three hours and ten minutes so let's see what we are looking like Nervous, y'all. That's Thanksgiving. Don't that aluminum foil say Thanksgiving all day long? Look at that. That's Thanksgiving, y'all. Rice is done and it didn't get dry, but all of the water did cook out of it. So that what three fourths of a cup, and then um, two cups of the water. Mm. I'm curious about the turkey, y'all. decided to turn the camera back on that way you guys could see how everything looked when I took it out Checking to make sure that um, the turkey was done. Okay, Some green beans. Let me see if they seem real mushy. They don't. Mm -mm. Mm. And they're good with that gravy on it too. Wow. 
Oh my goodness. You touched it with your hand, girl. That's hot. Honey. Yeah. Come tell me what you think. I did the potatoes and um, rice because you, you look like Thanksgiving, don't you? Who do? Who get to eat who? Amen. And then let me get some gravy. That's why I wanted extra gravy. But you guys, I was messing with this um, turkey trying to make sure it was done. And that's what took the longest, I think, is to cook that turkey. It probably would have gotten done, I'm sure, quicker had it been on the bottom. And let me show you this with the uh, the dressing that's on the bottom. Let me get a close-up. Okay, you see that? So what I will probably do differently is put my um, vegetables, my celery and onions, on the bottom. And then put the um, dressing on top of it you know and it's still edible but you see how it it cooked but with that being on the bottom um, it's interesting how you can tell that a whole lot of liquid didn't get to it but anywho so that's that and then this is the plate with the green beans, the potatoes. Baby, where the rolls? Honey. Huh? Give me a roll. And then this is the cranberry sauce. Y'all, this is how my mama used to slice cranberry sauce. You have to put the roll on the plate, babe. Wherever you want to put it. There you go. <laughs> so that's the turkey, the dressing, the green beans, potatoes, and baby, taste the rice since you're the rice eater to yeah. see how it um, yes. make sure it's not too, too soggy. So you taste, I done made a mess in, in the pot, honey, digging all in it, trying to show. But taste, tell me your thoughts about the rice since you're the rice, would you say, rice aficionado? Yes, yes, I've done many years taste of rice. Taste the rice. Rice Say that play if you want to. I'm here ready to eat me some. What you mean? I'm just saying, baby, I don't know how many years I have been a rice taster. Let me see. The ambiance. You got to have the ambiance around me. Maybe the ambiance is atmosphere. I know the atmosphere. I don't know the atmosphere is good around me right now. Okay. Right here. Look, you playing. And I'm here and digging to your plate. Considering that it, it was sitting in, honestly, that it was sitting in the, and it was in the oven for Oh, a little over three hours. Why, why you put that, that fake jelly on my plate? Baby, this is cranberry sauce. I don't like that. Okay, I'm going to eat it, and then I'm going to give you this. You're going to eat all the cranberries? Mm -hmm. It's Thanksgiving, y'all. Cranberries, that, that stuff is like... What's mm -hmm. close to it? What, what looks like cranberry? Beets. Beets? Beets? Well, wait a minute. I may, I may have been thinking about beets when I was talking about the cranberries. Mm -hmm. Let me see the turkey. Like I say, y'all, that was my concern about the turkey being done. It's Thanksgiving. Y'all, I had Thanksgiving in October. I'm not a rice eater, but let me taste it. What you think about it? With the rice. rice. Mm-hmm. Because I didn't hear what you said. I know you answered me, but I was focusing on what else. Mm. You know I'm a potato girl. You're gonna get the plate. Chill out. Y'all, this totally works. You want me to get the rest of the cranberry sauce up here? Uh-huh. Okay. So fixing it in the oven. Mm-hmm. some more Thanksgiving. I don't get to eat Thanksgiving on Thanksgiving Day because I'd be so tired. So I'm going to eat it now. Mm. Okay. I'm going to get that little piece of cranberry sauce and I'm going to give you a plate. Now, I'm be honest. 
as long as it took it to cook. I said, man, I might as well put this in a crock pot, but I did it in the oven, y'all cricket. Because everybody doesn't have a crock pot, okay? So I really wanted to know if it was totally doable in the oven. This is the dressing that was on the bottom, which is totally fine with me. Um, because it just Grace. tastes like bread. That's Thanksgiving, ain't mm -hmm. Um But I like. I need some angel eggs. I know, right? And some apple. Well, I forgot about that. I'm yeah. potato salad. But. Salad and why not? I like my dressing to be, I guess, kind of wet or soggy, if you will, because we put gravy and stuff all over it. So I don't like a dry dressing. I do not like a dry dressing. So, y'all, this is good. Miss Tammy, I'm going to tell you the truth. Let me tell that you was, something. That was genius to think of. Mm, that's hot. Doing this, um, I want some more cranberry sauce on this. You can have it. I am. I'm getting ready to get you. You ain't got to tell me. To think about doing a Thanksgiving dinner in a crock pot, y'all. Who does that? And don't do the most like me. Like, I made mine, I think, really big. Man, it's hard for me to cook just a little bit. That's good, ain't it? <laughs> That's a winner. So, again, to recap, I probably would have put my vegetables, my celery, and my onions on the bottom because I baked it in the oven. You know, that's where I think the heat. You know, of course, it's going to cook what's on the bottom first. See, an oven cooks differently than a crock pot. Okay? So, I just think definitely I would do that differently. Um, and I might would even do the, the onions, the celery, then the chicken, and then do the stuffing on top of that. So, I probably wouldn't even do the two layers of stuffing if I did it again. Right. Or if I did the two things of stuffing, just did them on top. That way the chicken would be closer to good. to the bottom of the casserole dish. And I think that would have helped it cook a little quicker. But this is wonderful. Look at these little baby potatoes. Mm -hmm. I fixed those for me because, you know, I'm not a rice eater. You're a rice eater. And see, this is a whole lot of food. Just for two people. So we definitely didn't need the three pounds of turkey. We probably could have done like a pound and a half. Of turkey, um, the turkey breast, mm. maybe one box of the dressing. I like a lot of gravy, so I probably wouldn't have changed that. It didn't make, in my opinion, the 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 beans. They're not. They're not mushy at all. What bean? The green beans. Oh. Yeah, it tastes like you would have cooked them in a pot. I'm just trying to give you everything that we kind of noticed about it's this well. dish. Hmm? It's seasoned well. Oh, you said, well, I added seasoning to the turkey. I seasoned the turkey just like I would season it for Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. It's Thanksgiving. You don't sit in about eat your whole plate. Um, one more thing I was going to say. Oh, oh, with the three pounds of turkey, this gravy came in the three pounds. That three, the roast turkey that I used. I didn't use this, so I'll just save it. I probably, I'm sure I'll use it around Thanksgiving time. But I, I probably could have um, just, this I could have used it somewhere. But it's a real sweet lemonade. So why does everything have to be all sweet? That's what yeah. Thanksgiving you get. This was good. So again, I'm going to link, um, uh, Miss Tammy from Collar Valley Valley Cooks, her recipe, her video in the description box. Thank below. you, Miss Tammy. So you guys can go check that out. This has been this has been great. So hopefully now those of you that feel like you may want to try this in the oven, um, you will. And it may be something, you know, if you decide you want to do something simple for Thanksgiving. This is a hit. And if you don't want to do a lot of cooking, honey, you can go get your little small thing of potato salad from Walmart. I think their potato salad Lowe's. is is good. Lowe's. That's good. I say Walmart. I still love this. 
I say Walmart. When you buy some potatoes out of them loads? I seen it in the cabinet. And, but you've not had it. I've tasted it. You don't be telling them something if you've not tasted it. Well, maybe they tasted it. How you going to recommend it and you ain't tasted it? Well, what they recommend it? What y'all? They don't know. They ain't never tasted them, it? I don't know, but I'm sharing. I'm not going to tell them to try something that I've not tasted. I've tasted the Walmart. Like, I don't like the Sam's potato salad. I think the, I think the potatoes are too hard. In the Sam's potato salad, but I do like the Walmart potato salad. Well, have any of y'all tried? If y'all want to listen salad? to him, go get you some potato salad from Lowe's. From Lowe's. And then Lowe's food, yeah. not Lowe's hardware. <laughs> Instead of potato salad at Lowe's hardware, you leave it. <laughs> leave it. <laughs> okay. Anywho, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you've not subscribed, hit the nosy. Please consider doing so. Hit the nosy is turning on that notification bell. That way you'll know when we're doing whatever it is we're doing over here. And just let me say, when if you ladies decide to go after this, or gentlemen, whoever, and you put all your time in the presentation of it, and the people you make it for begin to act like dinosaurs and just devour everything, don't get mad. It's good like that. It is. It's just everything just running to each other. It's just like a I car mean, crash. I, I really had an early Thanksgiving. Oh, thank you. Now they put me everything but the potato oh, on this you. big old spoon and grab me a roll. Mm hmm Happy early Thanksgiving, y'all. This is thank a juicy you guys turkey. so much for watching. Turkey really juicy. Mm. We already look forward to you joining us again. Next time, hit the nosy. Bye. Mm -hmm. mm. <coughs> All we saying is, mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. you just standing there eating by you, my ate your whole part. Why you, you been sitting down and eat? You about ate your whole spoon. <laughs> Oh, mm. bye y'all. We're steady eating and talking. Bye. <laughs>